how important is the whole psychology? You know, when you when you're Huge. at the top of your game, you have Huge. the skill set. It's 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 the key thing. I mean, you know, sport as they say, sport is is probably more psychologically bent than it is physical. I mean, you know, the top people in any sport are the ones that are mentally tough. You know, I mean, you get it in rugby, you get it in athletics, you get it in individual sports. You know, like good golfers, good golfers. You know, the Tiger Woods, these guys are people that are just completely mentally strong. You know, when the tough, when the toughness comes in, and when you've got to make that part, or when you've got to, you know, when you've got to hold on to a lead, or you've got to come from behind, they're the ones. It's the mental toughness. I mean, you know, like I've played against some some big physical guys at rugby, but the ones you're worried about the most were the ones that had that mental fortitude. They would find ways around teams, you know, they would find ways to beat you, and it wouldn't be just physically, it would be, look, this is the way, you know, this, and that's why you look at a guy like Brian O'Driscoll, you know, I mean, he's achieved really over the last few years simply because he changed his game. You know, he went from, he went from one of the best tackling players, realised that he was losing his speed in his later years, as all rugby players do, suddenly he reinvented himself and going to be the best defensive player. It's that kind of, it's that mental toughness that you need, that psychology of winning, that winning for you, really. What yeah. makes a winner is, is up here, it's yeah. not, it's not yeah. anywhere else. Okay, good stuff. And, and in relation to that, the, the, the reinvention, you know, you mentioned reinvention. The reinvention, reinvention is goal. so important. Set new goals. Yeah. I mean, you get, that's the other thing about goal setting. You have to keep reevaluating when you've achieved that goal. And that's what I talk about comfort zone, for me, encompassing it all. Because, you know, somebody, somebody if we talk again in the rugby analogy, somebody that had been doing it all the one way, suddenly probably had to say, OK, I've got to change. I've got to change with the times now. You know, I'm not going to get my goals if I remain, you know, whatever. You, you, you'll get what you get if you keep doing what you've always done. And I mean, unless you change, maybe, you know, we talk about a lot of athletes and watching, you know, watching these great athletes who've had to change their game, change their style, change their goals, change, you know, all those things. Mm -hmm. Keep pushing themselves out of that comfort zone. Yep. You know, that's the thing. And that's why I, I like the word comfort zone, because people will wrap themselves up in a big comfort blanket and say, this is where I'm safe, you know, this is where I'm quite good at my job. You know, I don't want to go to the next level because people expect too much from me. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to push myself out there because, you know, I'll be judged. No, keep pushing yourself, you know, every, every step, because every little step becomes your new comfort zone. Yeah. And, you know, I talk to people because I do some of the after dinner speaking, that piece I've got, I couldn't do that. I could not do that. It doesn't matter what I do in life. I can't speak after dinner. I said, actually, you can. Yeah. And I said, if you do it once, then the next time becomes easier. And the time after that becomes easier. So suddenly after a while they're saying, look, there's no problem to me now. Yeah. And, you know, it's just that matter of, Stepping outside and every day looking back and saying, "Hey, I've moved forward a little bit yeah. each day." Yeah. So you're stepping out into that outside that comfort zone in another way, yeah. into the unknown. Because I mean, all goals, all goals, if you look at realistic, are somewhere off in the future. You know, you haven't achieved them there. That's why they're, that's why they're called goals. So every way that you can move closer to that. You know, if I sat if I sat here to you now, said my goal is to uh, make a million euros by the end of this year. If I just keep sitting here, that ain't going to happen. But if I go out and say, okay, well, how am I going to make it? I'm going to make it doing this, this, that, that. And to do that, I'm going to have to do this, 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 and this. It's not just going to happen by chance. It's going to happen because I start working towards that every day, saying, well, okay, if it's in sales, then I've got to increase my sales. If it's in, in whatever it is, you know, if it's painting art or selling, I've got to do that. Yeah. So that's what I mean by the comfort zone and tying everything in, is that, you know, don't just sit there and say, look, goals will come to you. No, you've got to go to them.